Hey, let's do this. We've got a substitution to do to help us out with this integral. So I'm just going to bring it down here. So my recommendation for this is to just differentiate it implicitly. So I'm going to differentiate both sides with respect to x. Because remember, we've got dx, and we're going to change this to dx by du times du. But I can differentiate with respect to x. It's just yeah, typically what you do. So I'm going to get 2u times du by dx is equal to 2x, which means du by dx is going to be 2x over 2u, or just x over u. And therefore, dx by du is going to be u over x. By the way, if you decide to do it a different way, I just I, I did check to see if it works out OK. And it, it does. You might choose, because normally your substitution is either x equals or u equals. This one might throw you off a little bit. Or, you know, I, actually, when I looked at that, I thought, this is a bit bit different. But it, it, will, it will still work out. It's just I think the implicit way is a little bit simpler. So we could raise it. Uh, square root both sides essentially and then du by dx is going to have to use a chain rule now so rather than implicit we've got to use a chain rule so we times by a half and then it's going to be x squared plus three to the minus a half so that's the outside function and then we have times by the derivative of the inside which is 2x the half and the two are going to cancel i'm left with x over x squared plus three to the half but actually, that is just u. So I'm left with x over u again. So it's not it's not too bad, but try and get it back into that form, I think, because that's, that's, that's the way to go. So it's going to simplify quite nicely now. So I'm left with this uh, divided by, and it's going to be the square root of u squared. And then dx by du is going to be u over x. And then I'm integrating with respect to u. So then the u's are going to cancel because that becomes uh, u over here. And we're going to be left with the integral of 4x squared. But remember, I'm integrating with respect to u. Right, so now I need to get it back. I'm going to need to get it back in terms of u. So it's going to be the integral of 4 and then u squared minus 3 du. 4u squared minus 12du, okay. So that will become 4 over 3u cubed, because I raised the power by 1 divided by the new power, minus 12u plus c. And we're nearly there. It doesn't look like we're nearly there, but with the answer given, but we are. So let's get it back in terms of u. Well, actually, this now comes in useful. Okay, so if I hadn't, hadn't already done this, this is a good time to write down that u is equal to that. So it's going to be 4 over 3, and then it's going to be x squared plus 3 to the half to the 3, so that's just 3 over 2 here, minus 12 x squared plus 3 to the half plus c. So we can see in the final answer they factorized out the square root, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Actually, they factorized out 4 over 3 of the square root. Uh, let's go for it. So 4 over 3, x squared plus 3 to the half. Right, inside this, I'm going to be left with just x squared plus 3 from the first term, because I'm just, I just need to times by another lot of x squared plus 3. And here, because I factorized out 4 over 3 from 12, I need to actually times it by 3 over 4. So I'm going to get 9. Because if you do 4 over 3 times by 9, you're going to get back to 12. Um, and then I don't have any other term. That is going to get me what I need to do. That's probably the hardest part of this, this question, this, this like getting it into the final form. So then it's going to be 4 over 3. And you can see in the final answer they've put, this is going to simplify to x squared minus 6. I'm going to write that first. Instead of writing to the power of a half, I can write it as a square root. So then it is now in the required form. So this here, I didn't actually, I should have probably written that along the way. I went kind of straight into it, is equal to this. 
はい、ワールドメタ。So now we're given the graph of this curve, which is, I find this a bit, this actually threw me off a little bit. I thought, why is it showing me a graph with a two there when actually we're interested in it when there's a three there? Now, I don't know if this was a typo, but I looked back at the time of writing, I looked back at the OCR paper and it's still there. So not really sure, but it, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day because the actual curve is going to look like, it's, it's going to look the same, basically. So we're finding the exact area enclosed by the curve, which is pretty much the one shown, and then the normal to this curve at the point 1, 2. So let's imagine, okay, let's just imagine it's there. Actually, it's not. Let's do it there. Uh, and the x-axis. Right, so the normal... Remember, the tangent just touches like that, and then the normal is at right angles. So it's going to look a bit like that. So we're trying to find this area here. Now let's split it into two. Okay, because then we're left, because then we can integrate underneath the curve on the left, and we can simply try and find the area of the triangle on the right. So I'm going to call this A1. And this is going to be A2. All right, A1 to start with. So A1 is going to be the integral. And remember, this is our, this is not the, oh, I don't need to keep saying this, do I? But it's not quite the same curve, but it's, let's imagine it was. All right, so I'm going to be integrating between 0 and this point here, remember, is 1, 2. So 0 and 1. And we've already put it back in terms of x. Sometimes when you do a substitution, you then substitute in for u. But we've put it back as uh, in terms of x here. So 4x cubed over... Remember, I have to show detailed reasoning. You can't just stick that in your calculator. But we don't need to because we have the result from part a. It's going to be 4 over 3x squared minus 6 and the square root of x squared plus 3. Ignore the c. So let's put in the 1. We're going to get 4 over 3 times minus 5 times 1 squared is 1 plus 3 is 4, square rooted is 2, minus 4 over 3 times minus 6 times root 3. Right, um, I'm going to times these together. I'm going to get minus 40 over 3 plus, because there's a double negative here, 24 root 3 over 3, which is going to become 8 root 3 minus 40 over 3. So that is that area there. The exact value. Let's now focus on this green area here, which is the area of the triangle. So I need to investigate the normal. Now we have a, a tangent which has the same gradient as dy by dx at the point, and the normal is at right angles, which I can take the negative reciprocal for. So first up, we need to find dy by dx of the original function, 4x cubed divided by the square root of x squared plus 3. I'm going to go all the way down to here for this. Which I'm going to write as x squared plus 3 to the half. I want to find dy by dx, so I'm going to have to use the product, uh, the quotient rule. I've got u and v here at the top. So u dash is simply going to be 12x squared. And v dash is, I mentioned this before, I think it's going to be a half times x squared plus 3 to the minus a half. And times by the derivative of the inside, 2x. I'm just going to simplify to x times x squared plus 3 to the minus a half. So dy by dx 
is going to be u dash v minus u v dash over v squared. That is given the formula book. So we get 12x squared times v, which I'm going to write as root again. So x squared plus 3 minus u, which is 4x cubed times x times this x squared plus 3 to the minus a half all over x squared plus 3. So when x equals 1, the y by the x is going to equal 12 times 1, which is just 12. Uh, this is root 4, so 2, so I get 24. Over here, I get 4 times 1 times 1 times 4 to the minus a half, which is going to be 1 over 2, all over 4. So this gives 22 over 4, which is equal to 11 over 2. So that is the gradient of the tangent. So imagine I'm, I've got I've done all that work. So the tangent m equals eleven over two. So the normal has m equals minus two over eleven. So what we really need is this point here, because then we're sorted. Because we know the height of the triangle, as we're told, is at one two. So the height is two. We just need to work out this. Um, so let's work out the equation of the normal. It's going to be y minus y1 or y minus 2 is equal to m times x minus x1, which in this case is x minus 1. And then I don't need to rearrange that or anything. I can go straight into when y is equal to 0 minus 2 equals minus 2 over 11 times x minus 1. So I'm going to times true by 11, so I'm going to get minus 22 equals, and I'm going to multiply out the bracket, minus 2x plus 2. So minus 2x is equal to minus 24, and x is equal to 12. Right, that point there is actually at 12, which means the height, the, sorry, the base is 11. And A2 is going to equal a half times the base, which is 11, times the height, which is 2, which is going to be 11. And therefore, the exact area, sorry, we know I'm running out of space. is going to be this 11 minus 40 over 3 plus h root 3. Now 11 is going to be 30, oh, I'm going to end up with a negative, sorry, I've changed it around, but yeah, 33 over 3, so my final answer is going to be 8 root 3 and 33 over 3 minus 40 over 3 is going to be minus 7 root 3. Okay, lots to do in that question, but I hope you're happy with that.